my name is Lenka Oshri. Welcome to Skincare with Lenka. Before we start, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate it a lot. In today's video, I would like to review another South African brand called Lalive. Uh, this video was requested by one of my viewers, so thank you so much for your suggestion. I haven't ordered any products from Lalive yet, and this uh, review is based purely on their website and ingredient list on their products. Lalive is a fairly new skincare brand, was only created in 2020 by Amanda Dupont, and it means of the nation or world. This brand is vegan, sulfate-free, dermatologist approved, paraben-free, cruelty-free, conscientious packaging, fragrance and dye-free, and made in South Africa. The website looks amazing and the entire range of these products are eco-friendly. As you can see here, uh, they say that they are fragrance-free, fragrance and dye-free, and that is not the case because uh, when I check the ingredients list uh, on their products, they are using a natural fragrance, aka essential oils, and you cannot say that your skincare brand is fragrance-free if you're using essential oils. Um, but some of their products, they are true, truly fragrance-free. If you watch my previous review about skin creamery, I was explaining there why the essential oils are actually bad for your skin. But let me just sum up. Your immune system uh, cannot tell the difference between natural fragrance or synthetic fragrance, and it will react to it the same way. So you can develop a skin rash, uh, like topical dermatitis, or you can develop allergy to essential oils as well. Or you can develop phytophotodermatitis, which is a reaction of citrusy essential oils with the sun on your skin and it creates a very bad rash. It is best to avoid any fragrance, natural or synthetic, in your skincare. That being said, I will still recommend uh, these three products, which are fragrance-free. And that is Cleaner Colada, Coconut Plus Pineapple African Oil Cleanser. All Glowed Up Vitamin C Turmeric Plus Hyaluronic Acid uh, Brightening Serum All the Shade Marula Tinted SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Moisturizer Let's talk about the oil cleanser This cleanser is fragrance-free, of course, it looks fantastic It is a mix of many different kinds of oils But let's just pick some ingredients I found interesting and that is coconut oil. Coconut oil is antibacterial, antifungal, it is anti-inflammatory, it is an emollient, that means it softens the skin. But you must be careful if you have acne-prone skin, um, it often causes breakouts. So if you're someone, you know, like easy get breakouts, uh, I would watch for this one and generally avoid um, coconut oil in your hair care maybe and uh, on your skincare in your skincare because even you use it in hair care or like you're using oil mask you can still you know drop in your face or it transfers and can cause the breakout so just be careful there another great oil in this cleanser is grapeseed oil grapeseed oil, oil is antioxidant it is anti-inflammatory contains a large amount of vitamin E which is again um, antioxidants which helps scavenge free radicals and it is good for skin barrier, barrier restoration. Another ingredient is uh, sweet almond oil. Uh, sweet almond oil is an emollient, again it softens the skin, uh, it contains vitamin E, vitamin A, 3 omega fatty acids and zinc. Another ingredient is squalene. Squalene is again a emollient which softens the skin. And uh, another oil in this cleanser is marula oil. And marula oil is rich in uh, proteins and amino acids. Uh, one ingredient here you need to watch out is bromelain. Bromelain is extract from the pineapple. It is basically an enzyme which will help exfoliate your skin. But I found that in um, uh, serums or leave-on products, bromelain caused me uh, acne breakout. So just be very careful. In this case, it is a wash-off product. 
uh, so it shouldn't cause a problem. I have one serum from Standard Beauty, they're 6% niacinamide and it contains bromelain and it's just simply too irritating and causing breakouts so I had to stop using it. So if you see this ingredient just be aware that it could cause quite a bit irritation but again this is the wash of products so it shouldn't be any issues. Okay, let's move on to another product uh, and that's uh, their all gloved up vitamin C turmeric plus hyaluronic acid brightening serum. So I'm really excited about this serum because it looks really really good. Although it has lots of ingredients in their ingredient list and you know the less ingredients mean is this less chance it will something irritate you and this um, has lots of botanical extract which again could cause some irritation. So if you're someone with really sensitive skin, you might want to avoid like so many, you know, extracts and botanicals and um, and stuff in your serum. But for me, I think um, I will definitely try it. It looks amazing to me. Uh, so let's talk about this serum. So first of all, I don't find it amazing because of the vitamin C and turmeric. I will get Later on, uh, I will explain why, uh, but let's talk about the ingredients are looking really good and the combo and the mixture, I think it is really, really good serum for someone who um, uh, has problem with hyperpigmentation and you just want to, you know, even the skin tone and brighten up and just have that super glow. So I think this is a fantastic serum for that. So the first fantastic ingredient in this serum is a niacinamide. Niacinamide is your vitamin B3. It is an antioxidant. It controls oil production in our skin. Uh, it means if you have like really oily skin or acne prone skin, this is a fantastic ingredient to use. It also, um, it is really important for he healthy skin barrier function and it brightens and even now the skin tone. Truthfully, you don't need to have a separate nice in my serum to have benefits from it. Um, it, if your moisturizer con uh, contains niacinamide, you don't need niacinamide serum or if you would use this serum, you don't need another um, separate niacinamide serum. This is enough, this is fantastic, um, you're good to go. Another fantastic ingredient in this serum is licorice root. Licorice root is great for hyperpigmentation, it reduces the redness, it is an um, antioxidant and it is anti-inflammatory. Another um, ingredient in this serum is Bacuchil. Bacuchil is fantastic because it is antioxidant, it is anti-inflammatory, uh, uh, reduces the fine lines and wrinkles, improves the skin textures, improves the skin tone, uh, improves your hyperpigmentation, and it is fantastic um, uh, ingredient or replacement for retinol because retinol for lots of people is very irritating. So if you're looking for great alternative, Bacachil is one of them. Next ingredient is Salix Alba. It is a great alternative to salicylic acid. It is anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. Next ingredient is Pantenol or vitamin B5. This vitamin is a skin protectant. It improves the skin hydration and it is very soothing and anti-inflammatory. It also contains hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. It hydrates the skin by holding into the water molecules and bring it down to the deeper layers of your skin. But always remember with hyaluronic acid you must follow up with moisturizer, otherwise it can, the water can evaporate and it can pull out the moisture of your skin. So just be careful and always remember with hyaluronic acid use a moisturizer unless the moisturizer has already hyaluronic acid in it so we don't have to do that with another moisturizer, obviously. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about uh, the vitamin C and turmeric in this serum and why I'm not uh, enthusiastic about uh, these two ingredients. Uh, first, uh, let's talk about the vitamin C. Uh, so in the ingredients list, there is no uh, percentage stated how much vitamin C is in this serum. And for vitamin C to be effective, it needs to be at least 10%. Also, for the best result, uh, it needs to be formulated with vitamin E and um, ferulic acid. 
one of the best vitamin C serums which had done some research behind it and it known that this actually works is Ferrolic CE by Skinceuticals uh, and as I said this is formulated with Ferrolic Acid and Vitamin E. This serum contains Vitamin E but it misses the Ferrolic Acid and plus has not enough the percentage of the Vitamin C to work. So uh, in this uh, case the Vitamin C in this serum probably doesn't do anything uh, because Vitamin C is really known to be finicky and notoriously hard to formulate in skincare uh, so it is just uh, just uh, very difficult so not uh, every vitamin C serum are made the equal uh, so that's why I I don't even mention which is funny because they like they marketed this serum like vitamin C and turmeric and it's the two of the ingredients I don't think they do even anything in this serum and they have such a amazing other ingredients which they don't even like mention or hype and it's, it's I don't know I would like to go for Boccaccio or you know like the other uh, great ingredients but okay so let's talk about the um, uh, turmeric. Uh, so turmeric is really, really hard to formulate in a skincare because of its pH and that it's um, uh, water solubility. Uh, it simply has really hard time to penetrate the uh, cell membrane and get into the cell. So it is really hard to tell if uh, it penetrates the skin enough or if, it, if it's getting inside the cells and do what it's supposed to do so that's why I'm like mm, yeah, scratch the turmeric like there is so many other great ingredients in this serum so whatever and last product that I recommend I would love to try is their all the shade Marula Tinted SPF Broad Spectrum Moisturizer. This moisturizer with SPF is fragrance free and it is obvious choice for me because you know I love sunscreen and moisturizer with SPF and this looks really interesting. So it contains a zinc oxide and iron oxide which is a mineral sunscreen or physical sunscreen and it contains some other interesting ingredients, very moisturizing uh, so I think that should be nice for dry to normal skin maybe not so for oily so as I mentioned before it contains zinc oxide and iron oxide uh, iron oxide it gives the tint and it also protects against blue visible light which helps with hyperpigmentation it contains aloe vera which is very soothing it contains glycerin glycerin is a humectant it hydrates the skin it contains the sweet almond oil which is rich in vitamin E, vitamin A and 3 omega fatty acids it contains marula oil which is rich in protein and amino acids and the last uh, ingredient in this uh, moisturizer with SPF I will mention is Panthenol or Vitamin B5. Vitamin B5 is a skin protectant, it is anti-inflammatory, improves the hydration in the skin and it is very soothing. The rest of the products in the Lelveth uh, line uh, are containing essential oils, so I will not recommend those. For all my lovely viewers, if you have any suggestion for a next skincare review please let me know uh, write it down in the comment section i will appreciate it a lot um, and that's all for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up hit that notification bell so you can see all my future videos and don't forget to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do ciao te see you next time Mwah.